Uh, look, it is a blustery day out there. Yeah. For but sure. Everything in our forecast over the next two days, just about every component is yeah. going to go down to one single graphic. What's one that? single graphic, and uh -oh. I'm going to show that Can't to wait. you. <laughs> it, I mean, it's this is going to drive everything that we do. There it is. It's the win. Okay. Everything uh. that's driven in our forecast is because of this, and it's blustery out there. Winds anywhere from 15 to 25, almost 30 miles per hour, and the gusts are even higher. Gusts right now almost to 40 for some of you. Now, first of all, it's just bringing the colder air in, so the temperatures are into the 30s and 40s, and it's going to keep it cold for the next couple of days. It's also making it feel much colder because of the gusty winds, so it feels like it's in the 20s and 30s. For most of you, it feels like it's below freezing. Not for all, but for most. As far as what's happening with the wind itself, because it's so high and coming off of the lake, there's nothing to slow it down. There's a wind advisory that's in place for the southern rim counties here of the uh, lake. Uh, we do expect some of those gusts to be as high as 45 to maybe 50 miles per hour. Also because of the wind, it's creating some really high waves on the lake, 10 foot waves in the center of the lake, but along the uh, southern rim, we could see eight to 10 foot waves. In fact, I've been looking at some of the cameras here from some of the buoys, Michigan City, and the waves are building, and we're continuing to watch that. Miller Beach here, I'll take you there, and I've been watching some of the waves as they crash ashore, and these have been building. So something to watch over the next couple of days because those winds aren't gonna subside until late Tuesday night and into Wednesday. So we've got another 24 hours at least of this. Lakeshore flooding concerns begin because of those winds out of the north and west. And possibly the most impactful is this, the winter weather advisory that's going to be in place uh, from Valparaiso down to Rensselaer. We're talking about bursts of snow. It's going to be an all or nothing scenario. Some of you, most of you, We'll get nothing from this, few flurries, but there's gonna be someone somewhere that will pick up some accumulation and some of the numbers could be on the impressive side as we often get with the lake effect snow. You just get one band that sets up. The lake is still into the 50s, the water temperatures, but the air temperature is gonna be into the 30s. So some snow may fall, but it will likely melt. It's just a matter of how quickly will it fall. Here's a bit of good news. Temperatures warm up into the mid 40s for tomorrow. I know it's still a bit on the cloudy side, but you get sunshine for Wednesday. We go to the 50s for Thursday. We're back above the average for Friday. And if I'm going to put 70s on the forecast for the seven day, they're in the right spot. Saturday and Sunday highs will be in the 70s. We'll have more when we come back.